Here are the things that you're going to need to get the SOMFI bridge to work with Control 4. You're going to need the SOMFI controller, the, the URT. You're going to need a 3.5 to RS-232 if you have an EA-1 or an EA-3. SOMFI will come with a null modem. The power will come with it, but you're also going to need a network cable. And uh, if you've installed the shades, you should have a remote. The back of the Sonfi controller has two network style connectors and a phone connector. Uh, these two are RS-485 and RS-232. This one on the small end, this is 45. These two are pass-throughs for 45, so either one you can plug into. Plug the system into network and power, or basically RS-232 uh, and power, which will then plug into your null modem and it'll go into the back of an EA-5 or an 800. Uh, it'll go to the back of a 250 or an EA3 or a 1 using the 3.5 to RS-232. On the very front of it, make sure that your selector switch is set to the first channel. and that, or Basically, it needs to be set at 0. Right now it's at 1, but it needs to be set at 0 for normal operation. And I'll explain more of that in a moment. Grab the remote that you have already programmed to the shades and set it to where you have your channel. So you have channel 1, 2, 3, 4... And five. This is how uh, we can align this. So if we set it to channel one, and then we set our selector to channel one as well, you will then flip it over, and you're going to press and hold this button until your shade that's assigned to that channel jogs up and down. And in that moment, you're going to push the program button on this as well. In doing so, it will assign that channel to that remote channel thus making a merge. Then when you're ready to go to the next one, you go to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, likewise. And now, if you see as well, I know the focus is a little off, it stops at 9 and then goes into the alphabet, but it goes 9 to 9, so keeps going around the bend. But 0 is normal operation, channel 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then when you get to 9, A, B, and C is 10, 11, 12. So that's how that works, and uh, you can leave it on that channel, and you can hit up and down to uh, test it while you're on that channel. And the neat part about this is you can take this device around with you. It does not need to be plugged into the RS-232 during programming stages. So you can physically take it to the shade, hit programming, and match it. So to recap, you press and select your channel of operation, flip it over, hold it down, until the shade jogs up and down. Then you push program, it will jog up and down once more. That tells you that it's assigned together. In doing so, you can now hit up, down, and stop, and it should react with the shade. That's all done. Then you just add the driver, which is really easy. Just drag the driver in, make your connection, and all the shades will assign based upon their number that you've assigned here. So all the brain and thinking and programming is here. The reaction of the channeling and shades is done in control for.